The question that's been raised is, can I do interim billing in EULA and finally have a complete invoice? The answer is absolutely yes. EULA's invoices are automatically interim billing. I'll show you that. So let's create a new client. Let's say Fred Ginger Stone. I'm going to skip all these addressing stuff and go straight to the manner. And I'll show you just by the nature of putting dockets how EULA does uh, interim billing. So for that purpose, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a, a matter here. Let's say Fred versus Dana. And I'll put a docket here. Let's say it's initial plan meeting and it is $1,500 flat rate with HST on the power. Hit the save button. Now when I do that, the interim bill is, is going to be $1,695. So let me quickly do a pre-bill. To establish that, right? Then a quick pre-bill, and the pre-bill tells me that it's fifteen hundred. So let me go ahead and finalize this one as my first interim bill. So I will do a complete, okay? And I will say the date is, you know, today. Invoice it, and I'll raise the invoice. Now, the invoice number is going to tell me how much so it's going to tell me that invoice 2717 the client actually owed me 1695 uh, and he can actually pay it using credit card right from uh, uh, his his credit card let's say he paid only thousand dollars so let's say he paid thousand dollars so i'm going to click here on here and hit the question mark and it says I can collect the payments and he paid me thousand dollars for that invoice and uh, you know the check number that he sent was that it was from Fred and I'll apply so at this point we already progressed in the first invoice where he's paid thousand dollars now let's say I want to bill more I had like a second client meeting for another thousand dollars and hit the save button what eula will do is it will now do incremental billing okay so let me actually go ahead and do a pre-bill and you'll see it right in the pre-bill that will do incremental bill so it says like eight thousand dollars is being billed now but if i look at the last page it tells me that hey in this billing this was what was this the total bill so far is that much thousand dollars has been paid that means the balance now that he owes is not the new thousand but the balance from the previous plus the thousand. So the interim keeps continuing till you actually hit the final bill. So let me now go ahead and raise this invoice and you will see the difference. Like you know, you will see the carryover from the previous invoice into this invoice and it will keep progressing till you hit the final bill. Okay. There you go. Now let's say he paid the entire 1825 uh, using credit card. So when he clicks here, obviously, like you know, we'll be bringing in the credit card page and he can actually pay this amount using Visa. Right? When he sees it right off the invoice. But let's say he paid it, you click here on question mark, hit the payment button, and 1825 is what he paid. And this time his check number was. Oh, he didn't pay my check this time, he paid my credit card. So you can say, hey, he paid the credit card, and that was his reference number. And again, receipt from Fred. You can give me a receipt, by the way, and do apply. That will be now his receipt for his new payment of $1,800. Here's your beautiful receipt that you can email it. Now you're actually ready for your final bill because everything is closed on this map. So you can just say, document generation invoice complete do a quick preview again right you always enforce a preview because you want to be 100 percent sure and that's your final bill you clearly, clearly see there's no invoice here there's no amount that was actually raised if you look in the final that's your final bill you say hey amount due is nothing so now you can just finalize this bill by raising the invoice and that's now the third invoice that you've actually created in the system and as you start cumulatively kept picking all the interim bills and went all the way to the final bill. And now you know that you didn't bill anything in this invoice but
previously that much was invoiced and that's what he's paid so far that means like you know he's around zero dollars and there's nothing to pay it does not give him the credit card option so to summarize with the very nature of you doing complete ULA keeps producing interim bills until you reach the final stage where you can just refresh.